All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you have a choice. I'm glad you chose me. Let's get right into it because I have a lot to go over. There's got to be a story time in the beginning as well as a how-to on the calipers. Um, and I also painted the fish, but the fish may be in an, another video because I don't want this to run too long. So here we go. I got to give you the story time first because this will help set the stage on how I almost effed up this car in so many different ways. Um, but let's get right into it. So story time. When I pick a specific date to do something, I do my best to accomplish that goal on that date. Um, my plans typically have a little fluidity in them. Try saying that five times. Um, and I try to uh, plan on something not going right, and I can then make the adjustments as needed. So here's what happened. I had planned on doing my calipers on Saturday all the way through Sunday. So it kind of kind of gave me a little bit of time to play with everything to make sure everything was perfect. Saturday was a wash, uh, but not for bad reasons, for two very good reasons. One, I got to hang out with my nieces that morning and they bring wonderful joy and energy, love family. And we had a great time uh, playing the Doricos, and if you're not familiar with that TV show, it's a reality TV show where they got 14 kids. Well, I had six of them with me, so it was um, it was kind of fun uh, hanging out with them that morning. Now, that afternoon and evening, at the last minute, I was invited to the No Limit concert. So, shout out to Money Mike Willis and Two Loaded Records because I was able to view the concert. Um, from their suite so that was a phenomenal the concert was unbelievable but it was absolutely long so my entire afternoon and evening was dedicated to that getting ready getting there early getting in the seats the concert was four or five hours long um getting out of there got home late okay that's fine now i got to do everything on sunday so that's not a big deal Got everything ready on Sunday, but I knew there was already a chance for rain on Sunday. So I was like, mm, let me see if I can get everything done before the rain comes. Um, but it didn't happen that way. So I was able to prep the vehicle before the rain, let it rain, the ground dried up a little bit, and then I painted it. But the problem is, is that I had to... I had to uh, jack up one side of the car at the time, at a time. Yes, I have jack sands, but I don't have a lift where I can pick up the whole car at, the, at uh, one time. And I did have the jack sands where I could have put them under the car and then, you know, had the whole thing suspended because when I did my C5 Corvette, I mean, my C5 um, Camaro, I did uh, put the car on four jack stands and removed all four wheels and that made everything perfect and easy. Didn't go that way with this. So, in doing so, on doing two wheels at a time, that gave me a time crunch and a delay when it came to the paint. And I'll explain that when it gets to the point. Hold on, let me let this. Sound like somebody stole his catalytic converter. But nevertheless, I had put up two at the time because I was definitely afraid of suspending my CA Corvette in the air on just jack stands. And yes, I do have the jack and puck locations marked up underneath the car, but I still did not want to do it. Okay, so now that all of that is done, you had to understand all of the time issues that I was dealing with. Let's get into the actual tutorial on how to do it. So first, here are the things that you'll need to do your uh, calipers. And of course, I've explained to you in other videos, it comes in any color that you want. Um, if you have a specific color, you just have to pay extra to get that specific color made, which is what you'll be able to see in a second. 
that of course I did do Rapid Blue because Rapid Blue and this uh, Tension Blue are the same color. So now, after you've taken a look at everything that you see here, I'm going to also list everything that's there because those are all the things you need. Of course, minus the jack, jack stands, if you feel comfortable on doing that, as well as um, the lug nut wrench as well to, to remove the wheels. So I just minus that on that list, but of course you already understand that the wheels have to come on. So from there, here are also the instructions on what you have to do that's on the kit. Now inside that kit, you'll find of course the uh, brush, the paint, a, an activator solution, um, a label, a brake cleaner, all right? So you got all those things in there, great. That's wonderful. You also see that on my picture earlier that I had actually got a set of brushes because I've already had experience with the brush that comes in the G2 paint kit and the bristles begin to uh, come off. And I don't particularly care for that because then I have to try to dig them out the paint before the paint hardens. That would have been the least of my worries if I would have done that. And I'll explain further in a second. Now, so of course you already understand, wheel has to come off, car has to go in the air. All of that is done and then here is the video of me beginning the entire process. There is enough paint in here to paint all six calipers and I'm calling the emergency brake, I guess pad, covers I guess that's a caliper too but you get you have enough paint to paint all six of them three times for so three coats but you have to make sure that you do it in a timely fashion because as you saw in the instructions uh, if you paused and read it all you have four to three to six hours to get everything done it don't work that way uh, I don't know if I have a different climate, humidity, or something down here in Southeast Louisiana, but you really have only three hours to get this done. After the third hour, it begins to gel inside the can from that activator that you uh, poured into it. So you really got three hours from the time that you pour in that activator, and that was one of the issues. Now, the, the video that I'm showing you is the last wheel I did, and I went over that three hours because I had to go back and forth of putting the wheels up in the air. I did three coats on the passenger side first, let it dry a little while before I stuck the wheel back on. Then I, I jacked up the driver's side and I tried to do three coats, but I could only get two coats for each caliper because the paint got too thick too fast. Um, so there's only two coats on the driver side and the video that you're seeing is from the last wheel that I did. So you'll notice a lot of imperfections in that in here in a hot second. So, uh, sand it down and I use 120 grit sandpaper. There's supposed to be some in the kit according to the picture, but I never saw any in there unless I overlooked it somehow, but I already had sandpaper and I used 120 grit. Sand it down, as you can see, sand off the uh, Corvette symbol. And um, then I cleaned it, let it dry for a second, wiped it down, and then I started applying the coats. First coat, no problem, but well, it was a little bit of a problem because I've told you I'm running past the three hours mark by the time I got to that wheel that I'm recording. Second coat, thick and pasty. Uh, it was getting frustrated. I'm fighting with it. I'm, I even had to change brushes quickly. So I went through the whole um, pack of brushes and that was really kind of the intention anyway because I was using the smaller brushes to get around the screws and the pins. And that also may be a problem because I was running out of time. I had no time to do detailed work on that particular caliper on the front driver side. And I'll show you a picture here of the passenger side, which are the ones that I took my time on um, and did a little more detailed work because I used a smaller brush to go around the pins, 
smaller brush to go around any screws or, or bolts or, that I uh, had to go around because of course I didn't want to seal those in or paint them. Now that may even become a problem, full disclosure, with those pans over there. So apply both coats and what I did not record is that my the logo that you saw earlier on the earlier picture of the things that you need is me putting them actually on. But they're simple peel and stick. I waited till the paint got a little tacky put it on there, let it dry on there, and it's fine. And then I'm gonna show before and after pictures here in a moment. But I see that the time limit is going, so I'm gonna talk about the fish on the next video. But let me give you the overall shot. Now, from this uh, photo here, on that last caliper I did, and I told you that the paint begins to thicken, you can see it's lumpy and thumpy on that wheel. But guess what? It's giving everything it's supposed to give, so I am okay with it. Yes, could I repair it? It's an easy repair. Take the wheel off, sand it back down, repaint it. Now, the paint levels itself. So if you're actually doing this yourself and you see that it's like some streaks or lines or this, that, and the other, when you do it within those three hours, the paint levels itself and smooths itself out and you don't have those kind of issues. But unless you're up close and personal and inspect the gadget the um caliper you're gotten you're not gonna notice it so i might just leave it as it is but that's gonna do it for this video i'm gonna show you some before and after shots and then i'm going to get out of here and i'll see you in the next video and we'll talk about the fish and that's where the big problem came in and i'll see you then peace